Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What's something that people turn into their whole personality? Here in the Netherlands people who live in Amsterdam base their personality on Amsterdam. People move to Colorado and Colorado becomes their personality. They buy a Jeep or Subaru and start wearing charcos. And plaster mountain life all over everything they own. Not only that, but Colorado native is a whole thing too. I've met many people who have nothing to talk about except how bitter they are that people keep moving in and how much better it was when they were kids. Lots of New Yorkers, city not state, guilty of this too. But it's not just them. Los Angelinos, San Francisans, Chicago and DC are guilty too. Texans are probably the worst about it. Especially the further they get away from Texas. Then you've got people from Austin who are like the elitist Texans. They're like the oddest mix of hippie and redneck. They often pride themselves on the hippie and denounce the redneck while still obviously being one. As a Texan I'm offended and agree at the same time. Every Texan has a Texas-shaped something and might have more state flags than US. Flags. Smoking weed. I smoke plenty of weed. But there's nothing more irritating than a pothead. As a highly functioning stoner I find stoner culture and its stereotypes to be obnoxious. Their job. Or just money in general. I worked with a guy who only ever talked about what things were worth, mostly vehicles. What he was thinking about buying. How much he could sell something for. The trades he wanted to make. How much our customers made. What motorbike he bought before from a guy on the street we happened to be on and what it's worth. That's all. It was annoying as fuck. Any conversation at all. You could be talking about your grandma. And he immediately tries to change the subject to value. It was literally the only small talk he knew. The fact he was poor just made it sad. OMG my husband is kind of like this and as much as I love him, it's so frustrating. I'm just not all about money. We don't need to tell the kids how much their gifts cost. IDK. It makes me a little nuts. Girl bosses, MLM cult engages and social media. A friend of a friend was running one of those fad, you can drink milkshakes all day and lose. Wait. Places. She tried for months to get me roped into her pyramid scheme but had to close her location down. Because after about a year she gained 100 pounds from her magic weight loss, milkshakes and people. Stopped buying from her. I am surely going to hell for laughing at this. <laughs> Loving Disney. Adult who likes Disney. Watches a Disney movie once in a while. Can enjoy a vacation to a Disney park. Has a Mickey Mouse t-shirt or pair of earrings. Fond of childhood memories relating to Disney. Disney adult. House is a shrine of Disney merchandise. Disney car decals. Every single vacation they take is to a Disney park. Cries meeting Disney characters. Half their wardrobe is Disney themed. Insists on a Disney proposal, wedding, honeymoon. Refusal to let to of childhood. Zodiac signs. Like please shut up about it. Oh my god that is such a Leo thing to say. As a Leo the first degree, shut up about it. My sister was like this. She was a cancer, which is ironic due to how she died. Killed by a giant crab. I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarian and we're skeptical Arthur C. Clark. Attributed. Being a sports fan. I know right? Some people even make it their entire username. Crypto. There are so many of these on Twitter. I'm sure they're 98% bots, but damn. Being a YouTuber. For real though, the eyes say it all. I can see it in certain YouTubers who started with a lot of joy and enthusiasm. Once it becomes a multi-million dollar business. And they have employees. They probably feel like they have to keep going. I don't want to throw shade. I'm genuinely a little concerned. But Sophia Nygaard does not have the same eyes as she did when she started a couple of years ago. The bubbly personality is still there. But it definitely feels put on at times. Like she's just tired and maybe has anxiety or depression. And I think YouTube has kind of taken over her life. But I'm just making armchair guesses about a hugely successful woman. Who could be having the time of her life? For all I know, it's just her eyes. Their preferred American political party. This has been a wild ride recently. I feel like we all know at least one person who has just gone over the edge with politics. My brother-in-law used to be a conservative-leaning guy, but it was never part of his personality, nor mine, nor the rest of his friends. We would go over there and eat smoked meats, watch the fights on TV, generally have a good time. Then it just started getting weird. Suddenly he would walk through our door and the first words out of his mouth would be an argument. Against leftists. I later realized he was binging podcasts and getting himself riled up. Every conversation became political. Every beer drank intensified the problem. We were not a politically motivated group lol. I assumed half the people there voted red and they assumed I voted blue. But it didn't come up because who cares. But it got so bad we stopped hanging out with him completely. We just couldn't take the constant political barrage. Which I still have no interest in. 
It's not like I'm there advocating for the Democratic Party. It's gotten so extreme that you can't say anything without being accused of supporting this guy or being part of this party. Somehow politics makes its way into everything. Being overworked and barely sleeping. Edit. To clarify, this isn't meant to be an insult. I know exactly how it feels to work an ungodly amount of hours with little to no reprieve. It's a routine that's become ingrained in us and I think it's important to remember being overworked. Underslept. And having little to no time to ourselves is not healthy. And the amount of caffeine you drink to compensate. This is me right now in the manufacturing field. Currently looking for a new job.